Hello and welcome to today's MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be converting between different metric units of measurement. And first we're going to look at question one, which is asking how many metres are equivalent or are the same as 300 centimetres. So the very first thing we need to do is go back to the, the basic understanding of how many centimetres fit into a metre. And we should know, or you will need to know, that there are 100 centimetres, that cent means 100, in one metre. So, if I take my 300 centimetres and I split that into 100 centimetre sections or groups. So we're 100 centimetres here, we're 100 centimetres here and 100 centimetres here. Here is my 300 centimetres altogether and we can clearly see that this 100 metres is one metre, this 100 metres is another metre and finally this 100 metre centimetres here is one metre. So we have a final answer of three metres. And next we're on to question two, which is taking four kilometres and we're going to find how many metres fit into those four kilometres. So again, if we take our four kilometres and we'll split it into four equal sections, so I've got one kilometre here, one kilometre here, another one here, and finally the fourth kilometre at the end. What we can do is we can say, well, one kilometre, we know that one kilometre is equal to 1,000 metres. And these are just number facts that you're going to need to remember, but they are quite straightforward because they're either 10, 100 or 1,000. And what we can do is we can say that one kilometre there is the same as saying a thousand meters. This kilometer is another thousand meters. Same for the third one. And finally, the last thousand meters means that all together we have four thousand meters. And finally, we're on to question three. And this time we're looking at grams in kilograms. And we have 8,000 grams. And we're going to work out how many kilograms that is equivalent to or equal to. So again, we're going to take our 8,000 grams on the line and put it onto a line. And we're going to go back to that fact, or the, the number fact that you need to remember, which is 1,000 grams grams is equal to one kilogram. So I know that if I've got a thousand, I need to break my 8,000 grams into 1,000 gram sections. So let's have a little look. Let's break it down into eight sections. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if each of these sections is worth a thousand grams, there. And finally, we can clearly see they've got the eight, the eight lots of 1,000 grams and each of these 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. So all together we have eight kilograms. And before I finish today, it's really important just to note the importance of learning the, the basic conversions between the different metric units of measurement. Uh, so first of all, if we're gonna look at length here, and what we can say is we have centimeters, 
we have millimetres, metres and kilometres. And what we can say is, well, there are 10 millimetres in a centimetre. We have 100 centimetres in a metre. And finally, we have 1,000 metres in one kilometre. The next one is looking at capacity. And that's looking at how much space there is, is inside um, an object, inside a shape. We normally use this for, for liquids, like water, for example. And there are three measurements that you need to know. First of all, we have millilitres. Then we have centiliters, and then we have liters. And if we look, we have a thousand milliliters in a liter. There are 100 centiliters in a liter. And therefore, there's going to be 10 milliliters in a centiliter. And finally we have mass. Okay, and there's only really one fact you need to know for this one, and that's that we have 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. Thank you very much for listening today, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.